Welcome to your Monday morning. Taking all our energy from last night's sleep from the subconscious mind into the practice by closing the lids of the eyes. And as always, just arriving to your mat with some slight pressure on the spine in each direction. So just moving the head, moving the spine front and back. And just see if this morning as you move the body, there is anything that's quite loud maybe physically, maybe mentally, maybe energetically, moving the shoulders if they want to move, the wrists, the arms, whatever the body is asking for before we settle into our practice and our tall spine. And then with the eyes closed, find your spine to be nice and tall. Your coccyx rolls towards the floor. Your navel very gently and subtly pulls in towards the spine and then gently up towards your heart. Unless you're pregnant, you never ever engage the navel. You pinch the shoulder blades together, you take them towards the floor. Your shoulders and your ears have a big gap, lifting the head a little bit further up as if you're being pulled up by an invisible cord. Roll the eyes up to the third eye. Just be still for a second. This morning, starting to notice your mind like a third person. Notice if it's busy, if there's questions, uncertainty, demands, or maybe just even a sixth sense, feeling, the colour, the stickiness. Notice the natural breath before we start. Take a deeper breath in through the nose. Let the belly come all the way out. At the top of the breath, at the top of the breath, if you can, you're going to squeeze the navel in. You're going to hold the breath. You're going to squeeze the muscles around the anus and the sex organ area. You're going to keep the eyes rolled up. Your tongue pushes on the roof of the mouth. Energetically lift your coccyx towards your heart. Out the mouth. Exhale. Let it go. And again, deep breath in through the nose. Your belly comes all the way out. At the top, you hold, you roll the coccyx under, you squeeze the navel, pinch the shoulder blades together, soften the jaw, tongue on the roof of the mouth, eyes rolled up, soften the shoulders. Exhale, let it go. The last one, take in that fresh breath of the day. 
like the honor and privilege that it is, hold the breath in the lower part of your spine. You lift it up, but above the navel is soft and heavy. Trust that breath to travel around the body. And exhale, let it go. Bringing the hands in front of your heart space, you charge your palms by rubbing the palms together. You continue to sit tall and proud. And as you rub the palms, you're going to notice that the movement that you're doing is repetitive. And the result is not up to us. We move the hands, we repeat up and down, we stimulate the nerves. And you're just going to allow and see if you can feel any sensations on the wrists, the fingertips, the elbows, the shoulders. Take your hands to your prayer at heart centre, push your thumbs into your chest, push your palms to meet each other, draw in a straight line from elbow to elbow if you can. Take a deep breath in through the nose. At the top of the breath, hold the breath, push the palms together. Give yourself gratitude that you're doing this practice to command the mind, to not make it the enemy, but to bring it along into the journey of your light. And exhale, let it go. We tune in, allowing the mantra to have the emotional intelligence that it does to travel around every part of your mind. So today it can feel naturally quiet. We can find the clarity, not the confusion. Your intuition can be louder than the thought. Ong namo gurudev namo, causing the vibration with the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Eyes stay rolled up. We charge with three breaths. Deep breath in, charge. When you feel like you're full, take one more sip, hold the breath, push the palms, tongue on the roof of the mouth, roll the eyes up. Every day we must command the mind to listen to the intuition. This is not hard work. It's an honor and a privilege to have the tools to navigate the mind. Exhale, let it go. Protecting that light with the protection mantra. Imagine your light in the center of your heart being protected by an invisible shield. At Gure Name, Jigat Gure Name, Sad Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name, At Gure Name, Jigat Gure Name, Sad Gure Name, Siri Guru Deve Name. Deep, deep, deep breath in, holding the breath at the top, push the palms together. Hold the breath in and let it travel to every nook and cranny of the body. Seal your prayer or intention in here for the day. And exhale, let the breath go. Let the hands fall to the knees, palms faced up. Be still for a second with the eyes closed. And just sit with that internal world that no one will ever see. And honor that you have the power to shine the light at the parts that feel uneasy, parts that need answers from someone else, parts that need more finances, more abundance, more love, 
will help. Breathe a little bit deeper in and a little bit deeper out. Starting with our pranayama, we're going to fire up the body with the right nostril. You're going to cover the left nostril with the left foot. You're going to draw an antenna with the left hand, so your left hand is pointed up towards the sky. Your right hand is on the knee in chin mudra or gyan mudra with the OK sign with the thumb and the index finger. Your right elbow is straight. You sit tall. Your breath with your right nostril is a breath of fire. So you breathe out of the right nostril like a pant, and the inhale will happen naturally. And the inhale and exhale is equal. So don't stress yourself out if you need to go a little bit slower to get the pace. And then eventually you're going to start to pick it up. Eyes are closed. This time you're going to look over the tip of the nose. The right side of your nostril is responsible for the fire side of your body. And as we are with the sun, we need to fire up all of the systems of the body so we can feel and tap into that energy of the morning. So really going for the breath of fire here. Start when you're ready. one minute in if your mind is particularly busy today bring in the mental mantra sat nam so with your breath you have an inhale and an exhale silently vibrate sat nam sat nam sat nam with every breath direct the mind to the mantra direct the mind to the breath not forcefully not annoyingly not harshly but with grace and light don't you miss it up. Sit up again. Keep going, feel the breath, start to burn through anything it needs to. Maybe a blockage in the nasal passage, maybe a thought, maybe a poor night's sleep, maybe a pain in the body. Ask the breath to burn it away. One more minute. <laughs> Than you started. This is the discipline on the mat. We sit tall. 
Our left nostril is completely covered. Our hands are together on that left hand, creating an antenna. The breath of fire is focused. It's repetitive. Maybe the mind likes it. Maybe it doesn't. We're directing the mind to the breath and the mantra. Take a deep breath in through the right nostril. At the top of the breath, you're going to squeeze every part of your spine. Even if you're not sure what that means with the mind, with your body, squeeze your bum, squeeze your navel, squeeze your heart, your throat, your neck. Squeeze as if you're trying to lift up like a volcano from the base to the top. And then breath out the mouth. <laughs> One more deep breath in through the nose. Hold the breath, squeeze. Keep the eyes focused. And exhale, let the breath go. Let the hands fall to the knees, palms faced up. Be still with the eyes closed. Acknowledging these little pockets of stillness in between our practice are key. So we can allow the structure of the body to adapt. Now back into the breath. We're going to start to move the spine a little bit more. So you can sit on the bum and do your easy pose. Or if you prefer, you can come onto your knees, sitting onto your bum. We're going to do spinal flex. So we're going to flex the spine a little bit like we do in a cat cow, but you're going to be seated. So hands on the knees, whether you're seated on with cross legs or on back on the bum, your hands are going to come to the knees. You're going to come forward with the chest and the spine. You're going to silently say sat in your head as you breathe in through the nose. As you come back, you're going to shoot the heart back and the navel. You're going to say no. The one thing you don't do is you don't move the chin. So the neck's going to want to go back and forward, up and forward, sorry. we want What we want to do is stabilize the neck and isolate the movement to this part of the spine. So it's sat no, sat no, sat no. In through the nose and out through the nose. You need to focus on the mantra in your head. So whatever you hear externally, you come back to the mantra silently. Sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, but with the breath. When you're ready, start and do your best. Just over one minute in now, so the mind may still be quite busy. Navigate this with the repetitiveness. You're opening the spine, you're bringing it back. You're encouraging that movement of the spinal column and all the fluid that goes up and down, all the nerves to be open. Breathe heavier. The depth of your breath now is the depth of vibrancy off the map for the rest of the day. So create space. Stronger than you started. Keep the elbows straight if you can. Hands stay still on the knees. 
and just isolate the movement to the spine, even if it's just a slight movement. For the last few times, imagine you're trying to blow the cobwebs away internally. Before the day starts and the mind takes into overdrive, command the breath a little bit deeper. A deep, deep, deep breath in. Hold the breath. Squeeze every part of the body. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And exhale. Let it go. Slowly come back and sit on your bum. And you're ready. No rush. When we're working on the mat, we're working on our prana, which is our vibrancy, our energy. So we are consciously aware of where our energy needs to go today. We are consciously aware when we're living out of the mind in the body. And we're consciously aware if we're living out of our intuition, something it's trying to tell us. So to do this, especially with a busy lifestyle that we have at the, in this modern day, we need longevity in the body. So you're going to take the right hand, you're going to take it in front of you. You're going to release the fingers. And then you're going to take the first finger and the middle finger and you're going to interlock it towards the thumb. So the ring finger and the pinky finger, no, you're not, sorry. You're going to do the first finger, so you're in chin mudra, guide mudra. The other three fingers are out. The left hand goes behind you in the same mudra, so the okay sign, but the left hand is behind you, and both palms are facing down. So your left palm is forward and down. Your left, Sorry, your right palm is forward and down. Your left palm is behind you, but still facing down. You're going to do long, deep breath here. So your arms are straight, and the elbows are locked in the best way that you can. Make sure your right hand is above your shoulder, as if you're saying you want to go up like a superhero. You're going to focus the eyes on your chin. So looking down at the chin with the eyeballs, but the lids are closed. Long, deep breath here. And focus on the longevity that you're bringing into your body with this practice. You're going to keep going, but you're going to change the hands. So keep the arms where they are. You're going to release the Jupiter finger, the first finger of both hands. All three fingers are locked with the thumbs. So the only finger that's out is the one next to the thumb. Your breath is long and deep, and it's the medicine that we need before the day starts. So really deep with the breath, in through the nose, out through the nose. <laughs> Last little bit. You're now going to release the little finger. So your little finger and your first finger are out. The middle two fingers are held by the thumb. You're going to squeeze them with the thumb. You're going to straighten the elbows as much as you can. The body will feel uncomfortable or may feel uncomfortable. This is the concept. We want to put the body in a position. We want to hold it. We want to breathe. 
The breath is showing that you do have longevity. You can listen to that intuition. You can heal yourself. Deeper breaths in and out through the nose. Feel the resistance. If you need to shrug the shoulders and drop the elbows, then you do so. But listen to that light that's telling you you're stronger and direct your focus back to the breath. The breath is louder than anything else. Your light is louder than anything else. A deep breath in through the nose. Stretch the arms as much as you can. Forward and back. Forward and back. And exhale. Release the hands. Hands go up to the knees. Palms face up. Be still. Scan that internal world again. Before we finish with our mantra, I want you to sit still. I want you to scan that internal world. And I want you to find the part of your internal world which struggles to receive healing, receive light, which struggles to think things are possible before we can see them. The part of your mind that challenge you, maybe on a daily basis, maybe now and again, that inner anger, the frustration, the confusion, the loss of hope. Making sure that our minds are a nice place to be today. We're going to remind ourselves that there's an inf infinite amount of healing light which wants to guide us towards our higher self, towards a life of abundance, health, connection, and trust. You're going to gently bring your elbows out into the sides of your body. So you're tucking the elbows in as if you're hugging yourself with the elbows. Your hands are going to then form a little tray with each hand. The palms are tight, so the fingertips are together, like you're holding water. Your palms are signifying that you're ready to receive. Your eyes are closed and you focus over the tip of the nose. Working with the healing mantra, Rama Dasa, you're going to allow this mantra to go into every nook and cranny of your mind and your heart. You're going to visualize the sounds starting at the base of the spine, working their way all the way up to the top of the head, and then circling you in an invisible bubble. If you're familiar with the mantra, you can chant along externally. If you've not heard it before or you're not familiar, then hum along with a vibration on the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Ra ma da sa sa se so hon. Just the last few minutes here. But what space can we create? What healing can we welcome in that we don't need to see with the naked eye? We can just feel it with our energy. Yeah.
keeping the hands where they are just sit and wait to receive working on that trust that belief that hope it doesn't need the evidence right in front of you trust you are in on the right path trust you are dedicating to your light and trust there is an unfathomable amount of light which is there for you and you're soaking it up into the center of your palms as you sit still In the awareness inwards with your eyes closed. Intuitively take your hands to a part of your body which are asking for some extra healing energy this morning. Hold your hands on that part of your body. Try to keep it a few inches away so you're working with magnetic fields of your aura. Feel the energy from your palms in your body. Whether you feel it or not, trust that it's working to give you vibrancy in every cell of the body to nourish your organs with what they need, to energetically move anything that's blocked, to find your equilibrium, to find your light, to feel the healing. If you're ready, you bring your hands to your prayer at Heart Center. You sit prouder and taller than when you started, acknowledging the dedication it takes to get to the mat. Acknowledging how it take, how much courage it takes to sit with that internal world and to believe that your mind can be a nice place to be when it tells us the stories that our heart knows are not true. We close with Satnam, the universal sign that we wish everyone to be their true self, run by light, with compassion for others, bringing everyone back to their own light. Take a deep breath in. So... Staying in the meditative state for as long as you're able to. If you have a busy day ahead and you feel slightly med in the meditative state, make sure that you ground before you go about your day with some food, with a drink of water, by getting your feet onto the earth in whatever way you can, maybe looking out the window if you're busy and just taking in some nature. And as always, when you practice with me, whether we are in the same country or not, thank you from the bottom of my heart for reminding me and reminding yourself of the infinite connection, the community that you are creating and you are a part of, and trusting me with your mind and your nervous system. Repeat this practice as many times as you can to take in whatever healing the mind needs so it can be a beautiful place to be. Sad. No.
Yeah.